Hi, welcome to Draw Tip Tuesday. I am Koosje Koene and I love drawing. And since you are watching this video, I think I can assume you love drawing too. And maybe you would like the book that I am writing right now. It's about drawing and it's called Life is Better When You Draw It. <gasps> there, I said it. I revealed the title. Anyway, it has all kinds of truths about the creative process and the creative habit in it and a lot of drawings. So if you want me to keep you in the loop about the progress of this book, I will be crowdfunding it because I will be self-publishing it and soon I will have more news about the crowdfunding. Um, but I have a list, an email list that you can sign up for so I can send you updates whenever I have something important to tell you. The link is below the video. But let's get started with today's video because that's why you're here, right? I have a teeny tiny sketchbook tour of this teeny tiny sketchbook. And while I take you through the pages, I will talk about this sketchbook, which used to be one of my very favorite ones. And then I kind of fell out of love with it. What's that all about? Well, it's what happens when you develop as an artist. Welcome to this mini sketchbook tour. You can see that the sketchbook fits in the palm of my hand. And yes, it also fits in any purse and even in the pocket of a pair of jeans. I have this conveniently short pencil that I carry with it um, with two different colors, which is really handy. And let's just get started. This sketchbook isn't finished. I kind of abandoned it. I might get back into it, but I'm not so sure really. As you can see, it's a little bit battered because I have been carrying it with me every day in my bag. And here you can see that this first page is done in December 2018. And as I am recording this video, it's December 2021. So we're three years later and still I haven't finished this sketchbook. It's fine to not finish a sketchbook if it doesn't bring you joy anymore. That's just one message I want to give you. I mean, just keep on going with a sketchbook. So don't give up on it. If you have drawn something that you didn't really like that much and then you feel like you have um, messed up the whole sketchbook, that is so not true. I mean, look at how I use this sketchbook. It's a very much um, a lot of experimentation and very quick drawings. Like this is a few minutes and because um, it's tiny and because the paper isn't that great, I feel no pressure at all and I'm not afraid to make these drawings and it really helps me to study, you know, uh, people uh, do quick people studies, uh, do quick studies of anything really. These are musicians. And also to discover really fun stuff, you know, look at those glasses. It's a great way to depict someone. So I use, I have been using this sketchbook um, to draw in, you know, public transport. During all kinds of travels to I love this. I just use one color and then black for that one finger. That's a great idea. And this is the fantastic thing. If you look back at your sketchbooks or at earlier drawings, you will be reminded of really fun ideas or techniques or of course also um, memories that you have captured. Um, and yeah, there will be stuff that you're like, well, what is this about? And why is this even important? Or um, who are these people? I really don't remember. Although I do like the drawing. Um, and the, the small sketchbooks like this are really great because here I'm waiting for my luggage uh, in the airport. And this is the best way to kill time. These people are looking at their uh, phones. 
scrolling through their social media or their email or whatever, but I left my phone in my bag and I started to draw until my luggage came. And I think I had quite a little bit of time <laughs> before it came. The point I was making is that I kind of have fallen out of love with this format. I loved, loved, loved this format because it was so accessible. But for me, right now, any uh, size of sketchbook is accessible to me. I feel so familiar with drawing. I so want to scratch the itch as soon as I feel like drawing that it doesn't matter to me if um, I have to take out a bigger sketchbook that's in my bag. I still do take this occasionally with me when I go out and I only have a small purse with me, then just, you know, in case of emergency, I have this. But um, yeah, I used to really love the tiny format also because I felt a little bit scared or a little bit um, not so sure of myself if I would draw in public and when it would be in such a small sketchbook, it felt very safe. Um, but I don't feel that fear anymore and I really enjoy it actually. I really enjoy doing quick larger drawings. I do that in my uh, other sketchbook. So there's a lot left still. I don't know if I'm ever going to finish this sketchbook, but I'm okay with it. I'm moving on to another format and different ways of capturing the things around me. So yeah, this mini sketchbook has served me very well and I actually filled a lot of these tiny ones. But now I moved on to different formats, maybe a little bit of a different style, whatever you want to call it. It's just a feeling of whatever I need, I will grab for it. And apparently, currently, it's not the small sketchbook. That is something to think about, you know? People often ask me, what kind of sketchbook? What kind of paper? What is the size of your sketchbook? What is the format? What's that pen you are using? But it is not about the exact material, but really the inspiration or the intuition or the initial spark that you can feel to start drawing, it's not in the actual material or tool. So if I see someone uh, do amazing drawings, I am very curious to see what are they using, you know? But I also know that if I buy that pen, I'm not going to do the same thing as they are because they might be way further on their creative path than I am. And so it's important to realize that you are exactly where you need to be right now. And your beginning on the path might be sort of parallel on someone's middle on the path. So you can never compare. And the same thing goes for choosing your sketchbooks. If it's a tiny one, it's good. If, if that is what makes you happy and if that is what makes you actually use it, then go for it. Don't choose a bigger sketchbook because other artists use that. No, just find out where the sweet spot is for you, what format works for you best, and maybe it's two different formats, maybe it's even more. Make sure to find your way and um, find out what your preferences are, and that way you will also find out about your style, because that's another thing that people often ask about. You already have a style, that's the answer to that in case you wonder. Well, that's it for today. I hope you have a great day and that you draw in a sketchbook that makes you feel happy about the drawing time that you give yourself. And um, I will see you next week. I'll have another tip for you. Did you know I have a Patreon page where you can sign up and get a lot of extra benefits? by being a Draw Tip Tuesday friend or a Draw Tip Tuesday club member. Check it out, the link is below the video. And if you don't want to or you can't support me on Patreon, that's all fine. At least subscribe to this channel because then you don't miss out on my free 
videos that I post here every week. I'll see you next week. Bye!